Alright, again, a new video exposing some of the idolatry and wickedness that goes on in Mount Athos. Mount Athos is a holy site for the Greek Orthodox Church. And it's this uh, big, huge monastery that's there. You know, all the monks live there. They live there full time, basically, just like the Catholics. And I've said in past videos that Orthodoxy is just Roman Catholicism light. Just like Protestantism, many Protestant denominations are just like, you know, Lutheranism, Anglicanism, they're all just Roman Catholics. I mean, they're just as, as idolatrous, just as pagan as Roman Catholics. But here's some clips from a documentary on Mount Athos. Just go on YouTube and search up Mount Athos. The first thing that comes up is that this is this documentary. Here's some clips. The first clip is of an Orthodox monk just praying in vain repetitions, just chanting the prayer over and over and over again. And if you know Matthew 6 7, let me show you Matthew 6 7. Matthew chapter 6, verse number 7. It says, but when ye pray, use not vain repetitions as the heathen do, for they think that they shall be heard for their much saying. Hmm. So praying in vain repetitions is stuff that the, the heathens, the pagans do. So you're going to see this orthodox monk just chanting the same thing over and over and over again. Watch this. <laughs> So if you thought that was bad, this next clip is an Orthodox monk making graven images. I mean, what a great way to pass the time, just make graven images. And if you go to Acts chapter 17, verse 29, it says, For as much then as we are the offspring of God, we ought not to think that the Godhead is like unto gold or silver or stone or graven by art and man's device. So the Godhead is not like unto gold or silver or art by man's device. So this, this uh, image, this graven image that this Orthodox monk is making is a violation of scripture. Check this out. Αλλά στο Άγιο Όρος παραμένει μια, μια πολιτεία μοναχών, μια πολιτεία προσευχής. Εδώ υπάρχουν πεπειραμένοι πατέρες που μπορούν να σου πούνε πέντε πράγματα. Και έτσι ήρθα στο Άγιο Όρος. And the last clip is probably the worst of them all. They're actually bowing down before golden images. They're bowing down before these images of, of saints and, and the apostles and Mary and stuff. And of course, you know, Leviticus chapter seven, uh, 26, verse 1. Leviticus chapter 26, verse 1. You shall make you no idols, nor grave an image, neither rear sorry, neither rear you up a standing image, now that shall you set up any image of stone in your land to bow down unto it, for I am the Lord your God. You are not to make images to bow down before it. And of course, Exodus chapter 20, verse 4 and 5 also condemns making graven images and bowing down before them. And it's kind of funny, the Orthodox, they'll say, well, you know, they're religious icons of saints and stuff. Exodus chapter 20, verse 4 to 5, let me show you that, because here's how you nail them with this. They're saying, oh, it's, you know, it's images of God and stuff. Here's how you nail them with this. Exodus chapter 20, verse 4 to 5. Thou shalt not make unto thee any graven image or any likeness of anything that is in heaven above, or that is in the earth beneath, or that is in the water under the earth. You are not to make images of anything in heaven above. That includes angels, Mary, saints, and God. Heaven above. That I think nailed them with this verse. Because they'll say, oh, no, it's religious icons. No images of anything in heaven above. That's angels, Mary's, you know, Mary, saints. God, Jesus Christ. So, this is a violation of Scripture, the violation of the Ten Commandments. So, check this out.
and this is why I call Orthodox Christians Roman Catholics. I mean, they're, just, they're basically no different than Roman Catholics, just as idolatrous, just as pagan. So as Christians, as biblical Christians, we need to look at Orthodox Christians as people that need, need the gospel. They believe in a false gospel, a works-based salvation. Uh, I've gone over that in past videos. But uh, this Mount Athos, it's a den of idolatry, a den of, of wickedness, and, and you know, I could go into more, much more detail. I mean, they have like this skull collection, I mean, it's just wicked. So, don't be deceived by orthodoxy, it's, a, uh, it's just as wicked as Roman Catholicism. Same thing with Protestantism, many Protestant denominations are just as pagan and, and satanic as Roman Catholicism. Uh, that most of them just came out of Roman Catholicism. If like Roman Catholics, they'll say, you know, we are the, we have the one true faith. Uh, no, you have all these different sects, you know, orthodoxy, Protestantism, you know, again, it's a whole other video, I'm getting off topic, but don't be deceived by orthodoxy, it's, it's a uh, pagan system, it's it just nothing more than just Roman paganism, Greek paganism repackaged. Maybe that's why it's called, that could be why it's called Greek orthodoxy, you know, because it's, it's Greek paganism repackaged. So, anyway, God bless you, goodbye.